50 Bruce Disc Golf. We're here at Johnson Street Park on a mud bowl of the day. Just Nathan and our day, we're playing some match play, so. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen our last video, Dylan took a win, so we didn't let him play today. We're gonna have a good time. Just kidding, he's in Florida, let's Woo! go. All right, y'all, hole one, 293, just around the corner here um, at Johnson Street. We're playing the blues the whole way. Um, shout out to our first video. This is where we first filmed, so excited to be back. But that's how we were still the disc golf daddies, technically. Yeah. All right, we're back with the disc golf daddies here. <laughs> <laughs> disc golf daddies. None of us are, have kids. Yep, just yeah. dogs. So match play, basically we're, uh, there's one point per hole. Whoever wins the hole gets a point, and if we tie then it pushes which is um yeah we're not having the points stack up we're not playing skins uh we're just playing nine holes nine holes yeah all right winner take all catch a disc f5 just a little turn over around the corner don't grip lock into the woods a little yeah we'll see it may have kicked out I'm happy with that. That got me pretty far down there. I'm happy with that. I'm going to play it. I'll run it. <laughs> this last video just about wrecked this Luna at Sappenfield. I am gonna run this because, I mean, Eric's got a decent look at it, so might as well. Oh, curl! Oh, <laughs> that was a great first run of the day. Thrilled with that start. Can't pick my disc up. We did just get a new gimbal, so I'm walking with Eric. Hopefully, it's a little smoother than what you would normally experience with our videos, but. It is a bit of a learning curve. Yeah, we're high tech now. Woo. So, honestly, I don't feel confident in my ability to make the shot, so I think I'm gonna lay up and just push. Just push? I mean, I'll give it a little half bit. Yeah, I hope you hit a tree. Thanks, man. Wow. That was pretty good for first run of the day. I mean, that's... I'll eat my words later, but Nathan and I are feeling it with the putter today. But Nathan and I are feeling it with the putter today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't made a basket yet, but we're feeling it. Basically, Nathan will grip lock every single shot here today. It's not good. I'm happy with that. Play for keeps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a couple good runs. Looks like a push. On to hole two? On to hole two. What do you think, Nathan? A little forehand action? I love when you go forehand, yeah. especially when it's match play. Especially when it's match play, all right. <laughs> Still waiting on someone to volunteer to give you that forehand lesson. Forehand lesson. Yeah. You wanna do a whole thing? Nah, screw that, I'm not going forehand. <laughs> <sighs> I didn't have anyone else out here. Like, I'm going Manta. <laughs> where's Dylan to help back me up on that? <laughs> all right, we're hole two. 277, dead ahead. Couple, we got a right gap and a left gap. I'm gonna try to pump it and turn it up. Turn it over down the left gap. So, see how she goes. A bit of a grip lock on that first hole. So how do you feel about throwing straight these days? Not good. Same. <laughs> yeah. I literally went to a park every day this week and practiced throwing straight, and I feel no better. Yeah, when we first started doing this, I think I posted on Instagram saying, like, Manta was like my go to for straight, but I don't have a go to for straight. <laughs> We found a gap-ish. I don't know if y'all can see on the video that went way right and then kicked straight left. <laughs> we'll be in the woods. Love those angles. Yeah, love that. Eric hasn't seen where I'm going with yet, but I'm going pink buzz of destiny. Gave this buzz to me, told me it flew straight. First time I threw it, took a 90 degree turn right. We actually, the guy who gave me this buzz reached out to Dylan on Facebook 
and said it was pretty cool that it's been a video. So while it is the trash can buzz, there's a good guy out there that gave it to me. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> That's a trash can buzz for you. <laughs> it does. Hey, to be fair, it was straight into the ground. <laughs> hey, wait, that's what he told you, right? Is that yeah. the thing went straight? It did. He didn't specify straight in the air. That's a oh my goodness. All right, well, y'all don't know this, but this is exactly where I like to land my second for my second shots. What this does is it gives me a really easy forehand. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, give me a putt at it, but I totally missed that cap too. All right, I'm going A3. Just gonna try to throw a little flex around this tree here. Get in. That was a great throw. Thanks, man. I'm happy with that. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about that pink buzz throw from just a second ago. <laughs> ah! <laughs> like many of you watching probably still are. And I feel a little bit better because if you guys are watching the Pro Tour right now, um, they're playing the Las Vegas Challenge, and I watched Joe Mescard and Kevin Jones threw it straight into a sand dune, like maybe 25 feet in front of him. And I was like, oh, the pros do it too. I feel pretty, you know, relieved that that's happened. Yeah. Now it's time to test the putt. There it is, we're pushing. Nathan says he's not clutch, but that was a clutch putt. Very clutch. Yeah, tapping his in, we're pushing. On to the next. And the whole three. All right, we are on hole three, 309 feet, playing for the blue tee. It's pretty straight. Um, there's a tiny little gap over on the right-hand side. I'm going backhand with my onyx. It's a good hole to maybe get some points on. Maybe, for Eric. There will be. <laughs> All right, I'm going Cybertooth FX2 OTB. Let's try to get through the woods on this one, have a run at it. That's my plan. Is that good? Yeah, it just barely got through the woods. Dang so it. I'll take it. I'm going to be in the parking lot. Most likely Eric's taking this one. I'm gonna try to zone it. Let's get it close in case he misses a putt. All right, here we go. I put pressure on him. He's got an upshot and a putt to make. You got Nathan here? Oh, I'm still an athlete. Athlete. You got Nathan here? Still an athlete. Athlete. All right, y'all. All I need is a three. So this is uh, obviously a layup. Bet you won't run it. You're right. I'll take that. Dang it. Trying to get on the board, you know? All right, Eric's going to tap in, take a stroke on me. All right, hole four, through the trees. Through the trees. <laughs> All right, 316. You gotta hit this first gap and it's just down there straight away. Um, this one's gonna be a serious mud bowl, so it should be fun. Uh, we were just talking about how one of us is probably gonna fall and we'll just pray that it's on camera. Yeah, and um, not on top of the camera. That's, that's right. All right, I'm going M3, hopefully just hit the gap. How did that go so far from missing that gap? I don't know. I hit a gap. There's a tiny little gap between those two trees on the left. 
and uh, it definitely hit that gap. That was terrible. <laughs> so, Nathan's happy. Dude, throwing straight is my forte. Yeah. Should I throw the pink buzz again? Let's <laughs> <laughs> throw that one. Went. Give the people what they okay. want. All right, I got this new Luna for putting, but it's like too overstable for me right now. I mean, it's not too overstable for me. It's more overstable than the other putters I practice with. So, let's see if I can throw it straight. Straight, but it just like held to the right the whole time. It's a little frustrating. Beautiful look, I've got the basket here. Oh, you're going up top? I think I'm going up top. I mean, I can't really go through there. So, I have to three, Nathan's gonna three this hole. Nathan's gonna three this hole. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta get to the basket. I certainly hope I do. All right, here comes the hammer with Seth X2. I mean, it's out in the open. I'll have a run. Like, how did I only make it like? Ooh, ooh. Like 200 feet. And gave myself really challenging look. I'm gonna try to go a little bit of a scoob. Try to get my disc to like naturally float out left and come back right. All right, here's Nathan for a par. Well, I hit a tree eight feet in front of me. That'll give me a little bit of a putt. I mean, just overall did not execute, not happy about that. Eric's got a chance here. Frustrating. Pretty straight. Just a little bit too lofty. Too, lofty. too much air under that. Hopefully a push here. Hopefully That's okay. We'll push. Yeah, we'll see. Gotta make a little bit of a tester. A little tiny. My putt is never gonna get better. I don't understand. Well, there it goes two points up. Yeah, I stole one. Disappointing hole four, hole five now, 283 feet. Again, playing from the blue tee. It's uphill, straight ahead. Really, you wanna be straight as possible here. So, obviously I'm gonna go pink buzz. Um, Eric's up two on me. So, I'm gonna start making some moves, now's the time. All right, I'm gonna go F3. I'm always short on this hole, like every single time. Yeah. Either short or I hit this tree right here. So. Which I've done as well. <laughs> All right, if I can execute on this shot, Eric left the door. Did you see where it landed? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Queen buzz. I don't know if that's how that works. But... Birthday buzz. That will be good and short, but straight and I'm up there. I'm not in the woods. Hopefully a chance. All right, I gotta get this up and down, so I'm gonna get an A3 forehand. You want to bet a donut that you hit a tree? Bet a donut, sure. Okay. It's nice and flat. Wow. Oh boy, I think it's still about a 20 footer though, so always willing to bet a donut though. Yeah, that's unfortunate that I get no donuts now. Yeah. You can still have a donut, Nathan. I'm flush with donuts. What a kindness. <laughs> what a kindness. Ugh. I always mess like the tenses of words up and I, like I feel like I just skipped that part of grammar and spelling when I was in like third grade. Don't know how. But like took it did last week. Kindness this week. How now, brown cow? <laughs> Unique New York. Alright. Uh Eric's got a pretty makeable putt, so I'm gonna gonna give us a little bit of a run ski. Cool. Goodness gracious. Goodness. Yes, 
recruitment moment. Man, I'm gonna miss that too. Miss putt. That was pretty bad. Oh, the door's open again. The door's open again. Mason with an opportunity. Come on. Just simple, straight. I can't think of words to describe what's happening. Like, <laughs> put out, chain left, put out, chain right. Not a good putt. Yeah, he made that one. So unfortunate that we just pushed that. Alright, that's a push, folks. Are you happy about that? Yeah. I mean, play for keeps. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got hole six. 303. Down to the right. Honestly, forehand hold. But I'm going to throw a turnover with this F3. Hopefully, have a comeback and go straight in the basket. That's definitely in the woods on the right. But woods? Okay. Yeah. Like deep down there? Uh, I mean, I. it could be close to pin high, but it's definitely not close to the basket. Shoot. Okay. Really need to make a move here. There's four holes left. Eric is up two uh, match strokes. I don't know what to call those points on me. So I'm going to try back in turnover at the Wasp. Blue tape Wasp. Well, I hit a tree out there. I don't think that was going to come back, so maybe a helpful tree. Man. I feel like the grip lock is real today. I don't know if it's because it's like pretty wet and humid out here. <laughs> yeah. Or if it's because my hands don't want to let go of the things I love, which are discs and my wife. In the spirit of the new season, Nathan, uh, who are you liking this year? Any Thank predictions you. or favorites? It's really hard not to predict Paul Macbeth in every tournament. I feel like he has a solid chance. The way I was introduced to disc golf is I saw Joe Mez Pro's Worlds uh, for 2019, where Paul Macbeth was playing Emerson Keith and James Conrad. And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. So I'm a big Paul fan, hence all the Paul Macbeth discs. So hopefully Paul. Also really like Calvin, Kevin. Like the and Yuli, like great guys to to watch. All right, all right. Yeah, Nathan. All right, you running it? I. Where are you? Are That's you in this? I'm down there somewhere. All right, I'm running it. <laughs> I don't know if you got me slipping, but I almost <laughs> destroyed myself. So Eric, after gaslighting me to let me know that he was in a bad <laughs> position. Dude, it was headed way down into that yard, I swear. It must have gotten a good kick. Yeah, I'd say you're pretty solid. You know what we call that, folks at home? Gaslighting. Strategy. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm going to try to give us a little bit. Come on, baby. Ooh. Almost a tree kick in All right. off There's the backboard. Still hope. Call glass. No. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm saying I'm getting all the all rights in for Dylan. Yeah. You know? <laughs> all right. All right. Man. Yep. All right. Good putt. All right, that's a push for us here. Yeah, we're right there on the ground. So. Oh man. Hold that push. Two stroke lead. P model Three sucks. Hole seven, 267 feet. We're going into a tunnel. Down here. This is a pretty challenging hole. I think so, there could be some moves here. Hopefully, my moves. I'm gonna go Archer, try to Heiser flip it in there, let it gently come to a rest right next to the basket. Hit. Tiniest branch, maybe got a kick back into the fairway, but not ideal. So, what about you, Eric? Who are you cheering for on the tour? Honestly, I mean, I'm cheering for the Prodigy guys. I really like Chris Dickerson. Uh, I was happy to see him do well at the end of last year. Yeah, I've been loving Paul Yulberry's content just for watching and like his personality. So I'm cheering for him a little bit, even though he's a disc craft guy, you know. Yeah, I mean, he does have an advantage. That doesn't, best you know, on the market. Love the sinner, hate the sin type of thing. All right, I'm going M3. 
hopefully just hit the gap and not fade back too much. Oh, that was a nice tree kick at the what end. What in the world, I was about to man. say, that was going to be in the ditch. There's a big ditch that runs down the left side. So. Like, are you out here, like, on, like, weekdays rubbing trees and just telling them, like, <laughs> thanks for your kicks, man. That tree love, man. Yeah, you know? I hate that. Friends, give me the good kick this weekend, okay? Thanks, buddy. Yeah, so what about you guys watching? Um, let us know who you're cheering for in the tour this year down below. I always think that's interesting, especially at the, start of the, at the start of the new season, so... Just, uh, we want to know who you're cheering for or what you're excited to see, specific tournament, you know. Yeah, I'm pumped. Should be a good year. I'm running this. Eric's going deep OB into the water. We'll see. I might. Oh, thank goodness. That, did not that was work. a wimpy run because I said I was going to run it. But. I mean, he knows that he's just playing protection game at this point. Yep. You ever have those rounds where you're like, I'm just gonna switch my putter up mid round. I'm gonna go fierce. This is a challenging downhiller. Not even close. Good putt. All right, we'll push. Push that. Still got a shot. Two holes to play. Yeah. It's just uh, frustrating. Like putting sometimes you can practice putting all day long and feel like you're not getting better at it. like I feel like when I practice I miss a ton of shots so I feel like I'm practicing missing never done before folks but I'm gonna go hammer on this hole hammer with the manta yeah um hammer manta hole eight I forgot to get the distance but it's not very far it's like 180 straight up that hill um yeah we'll see how it goes There's it's okay more. I'll put the wrong distance up in the top left hand corner regardless <laughs> Thanks, you, you just. You, I was gonna say you get those off you just. Don't yeah, you? which yeah. is different than what the the T <laughs> sign says here. Dude, that was really close to being perfect. Yeah, with a generous kick. Or... <laughs> I think that's pin high. I kind of like rolled it a little bit, but we'll play it. Right. Eric's pretty guarded with these trees. I was about to say, it was gonna be a tough make. Just pitch it up there and let Nathan, you know, try to get a point. Like, what is it, scoob? I feel yeah. Like... I scooped earlier, it worked really well. <laughs> I don't know, I, I can't really scoop. I'm gonna go forehand. No, you're a great scoober. I'm a terrible scoober. Okay. You know as well as I do that I'm a bad scoober. <laughs> yeah. All right. Come on. Dude, Mr. Safe. That's what I'm going to call you. <laughs> Put me in the video, Mr. Safe. Mr. Safe. I'm going this foot for every ounce of advantage I can get. Clean off my there you go. space. Now he's ready. <laughs> it felt good off the hand too. That's so frustrating. All right, Nathan's gonna tap us in. I'm gonna make you tap in because I need a miracle <laughs> right now. Do it with your bag on too. Okay. <laughs> the bag on left-handed. Yeah. Oh, lefty's generous. I'll take that. Yeah. So Eric knows that this is it's over. Yeah, so I mean, it's been fun. Beautiful day out here. Not really, but. <laughs> I was like, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Always glad to play some disc golf, though. It's a beautiful yeah. day when you're out here disc golfing. Hole nine here, 349. Something. For some reason, I cannot make it. So I'm going to try to throw a roller because, you know, that's my best shot. Ooh. And. Uh, Not going leopard roller? No, dude, I'm going to try this H5. Okay. I, I can't rely on that leopard. It's 145 gram leopard. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna try this thing. For children. Here we go. Oh boy. Kick off. Oh. Well, that was a good roller. I was gonna say, honestly, the angle looked pretty good. Yeah. But it got you know, no rolls. No rolls. Nope. Well, no ace. 
I mean, it got some distance. It didn't turn over like I wanted to. I'm just gonna pitch it down there with the manta. Yeah. I mean, it's a putt. You know. <laughs> Can't spear. I like zoomed right into your crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the new gimbal is uh, messing with us a little bit. But, trying to learn it. Man, look at that smooth camera. Just like, like I am all over right here. No yeah. bounces. No bounce. I mean, I, I would be normally pretty happy with the shot if I hadn't already lost this round. Because I'm going to forehand a putter. I've never done that. Don't roll. Oh, come on. Just, it rolled. Hit, hit a tree? No. Put us away here. I'm gonna give it a little run here. Drain it. Drain it, jog it in? Yep. It does jog it in. He's <laughs> jogging in. Yeah. y'all took it today out of johnson street fun rounds glad to get out even though it's wet thanks for watching y'all for deeper disc golf we'll see you in the next one man it is a gray day it's it like nasty i don't think that I don't disc is dry yet kind of reminds me of twilight no it's definitely not